I've just uh, removed the valve guides from this cylinder head, uh, Royal Enfield Bullet 500 cylinder head as it happens, uh, because I'm going to be doing some porting work on it. And um, I often in the past used the um, gas propane torch to heat the cylinder heads up, to get them nice and hot, to make it easier to get the valve guides out. But the trouble with that is, the gas, the propane, seems to go on forever, but the oxy doesn't last very long uh, when you're using it perhaps uh, frequently to do things like that, and uh, I've got better uses for it. And I thought I'd like to sort of not have to depend so much on the propane torch, which is a bit fiddly to use anyway, and a bit time consuming, as well as the gas it uses. So I thought in recent times, this isn't the first one, but recently, I dug out this old little electric stove that uh, I rescued actually from a rubbish dump probably not far off 20 years ago, truth be known. And um, we've had it put away, it works well and everything and on occasion, <laughs> believe it or not, when we've needed to, I've cleaned it up and we've used it as a little bit of backup uh, when we've had busy Christmases and things like that where there's been a lot of food that needs to be kept warm or cooked. It's a great little cooker. Don't get me wrong, but it spends most of its life out here in the shed, just waiting and uh, in case it's ever likely to be needed. And I decided not long ago that I would set it up on a workbench and plug it in because I seem to be having to work on a lot of cylinder heads lately and also crankcases that need main bearings changing. And um, this is absolutely great for doing that job and it's got a heating element down the bottom and it's got another one at the top and you can have either one or both on well I have them both on and the heat turned right up and no kidding I put this cylinder head in there for 10 minutes and uh, got it out again and the guides came out really easy and in fact the uh, other one I did recently was this 1930 BSA Model L engine and it's got a cast iron head and cast iron valve guides but even so I had my doubts but I warmed the cylinder head up in that little electric oven and the old guy old guides came out nice and easily and the new ones went in just as easily as well so um, just a sort of uh, little something to bear in mind and think about I suppose um, and I guess these sort of things perhaps could be uh, picked up in charity shops and things like that I know that uh, Sometimes some places like that are a little bit iffy about selling electrical goods, but I think you can still get things like this second-hand at reasonable prices. But what a fantastic little workshop tool it is for uh, heating heads up and getting valve guides out, and also crankcases for getting uh, main bearings out of them. That's another one that uh, I've, uh, again, had the crankcases from that vintage BSA engine in there to get the main bearings out, and also... I think I've done um, a BSA A65 engine crankcases in there as well recently. So I was actually surprised that it actually does a quicker, better job than faffing around with the gas. I'd never ever have expected that, but it's turned out to be the case. So anybody who may be interested, I'm sure you could get something like this dirt cheap and it doesn't have to be switched on for very long, 10 minutes, 15 tops and you're hot enough to go and get your bearings and valve guides out and replacements back in and you're back in business so just thought I'd share that with uh, anyone who may be interested really uh, well worth considering <laughs>